Hi, I'm Joe, and this is a quick demonstration of Excel 2013's Visual Basic for Applications uh, built-in uh, object for text-to-speech. So here, we'll go ahead and we'll create a blank workbook, and I'll show you how it's done. First of all, you go to the Developer tab. This tab is not here by default in the Excel ribbon. If you don't know how to reach this uh, tab, you can click the button on the screen, and I'll show you how. All right, so we'll go over here to the Visual Basic button. And let's see, in our project, we need to have a place to add some code. So we're going to install a user module. So presto. Now we have room. All right, and I'll just call my sub say it. And say it only gets one string sent to it. And I'll go ahead and call it say this. And say it's only job is to pass this information to the application uh, object. So which is always instantiated uh, by default. It's just one of those automatic objects. OK, so now we have say it, which receives the uh, uh, input from say this, which has to be a string. So let's test it out and see if it works. Whoops. Uh, we'll just call this one test one. Again, the names of the subs don't matter. This is just uh, for our demonstration. You can call yours anything you like. Okay, now we have a simple little sub that will call say it and pass it a string. And so now we should be able to hear the computer say it out loud. Our cursor is flashing within subtest1. Therefore, when we hit play to run this section, this is the sub it will run. I am Excel 2013 speaking with VB8. And there you have it. Now we can create audio prompts for our programs by simply calling say it and passing it any string. Um, they'll be said out loud. It makes our program seem more impressive than they probably are. Yeah, science fiction. Uh, movies and television shows, the computers always speak and always seem very, very interactive. And so, personally, uh, from all my Excel applications, they all talk. <laughs> Users get a big kick out of it when they find out that the machine can speak. And many people never seem to take advantage of this feature, even though it's been built in for several versions. Enjoy. If you like this video, be sure to join me on Facebook, and you can share your questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos.